verse described as culture of platform. Uh, can you tell me two verbs that describe you? In the Nothing film, I think one, one verb that I uh, like is deflate, you know, deflate, almost like deflating or, you know, I think we should all deflate things around us, deflate our sense of entitlement, deflate our, uh, um, our expectations, deflate um, the little dramas, the little big problems that we think we have um, and uh, the second one would be um, you know rhetoricize yes I don't know if it, I don't know if it, I don't know if it, I don't know if uh, uh, if it exists in in English or in any language basically to to uh, um, to use rhetorics you know, the art of expressing and the art of shaping your opinions. I think this should be like the ultimate, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think life would be more fun if we would all um, kind of have a much kind of laid back, you know, cool, cool down uh, uh, vision of ourselves and of the world. And if we learn to express ourselves uh, in a more uh, precise and inspiring way. I would be interested in uh, in uh, provoking people to, to invent new verbs, you know, like uh, I think maybe even some big magazines which are calling like the, the world of the, the, the word of the year, you know, so they invent like the, the, this, this new word is defining um, uh, 2018 or 2019 and so on. And also uh, there's some, uh, sometimes you come across on Pinterest and some, some of those kind of compilation pop cultural uh, uh, blogs um, about you know like the top new words of uh, the top new invented words so uh, how people you know combine they make word plays uh, to invent new words which have like a you no know, like like a really new and contemporary and, and precise meaning I love doing that but it's, it's a nightmare for translation I spent so much time writing in my emails to think for example the email subject heading you know. I actually do that as well. Like I, I, like I wasted in my life so much time, you know, like just, and it doesn't make, it probably doesn't make like a difference, but I kind of, you know, that's, I want, you know, like these, I want to, to, to show that even in this little space you should or could be, uh, you know, don't, don't just, you know, use words for free, you know, like this is the, this is the title of this episode in someone's life, the, it can last a few seconds. It can last, but you know, like you know, it deserves to have a good title. What does it mean for you to get real? This is the motto of the festival this year. And what does it mean for you? I would say you know, get real, real political, because I think you know, the real politic of things is one layer of uh, of forces that define our lives, uh, which is much more. Um, much more powerful and much more defining uh, than any one's individual actions. You know, I think that you know the majority of films, of documentary films in general, and especially human rights films, they put too much focus, too much kind of uh, uh, spotlight into individuals, be they uh, bad guys like bad politicians or bad criminals or whatever, or good guys, some activists or some you know like inspiring figures. And these, you know, like single little, you know, individual people out of, you know, uh, uh, alone among billions in a, on a tiny star surrounded by trillions, they, um, they don't, uh, you know, they, they, they don't affect absolutely anything, uh, uh, as opposed to the, um, to the real political uh, layer of things, which is very rarely uh, perceived uh, understood or included in film, and I think that's 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 what I would love, you know, the you know documentary filmmaking to go into, to 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 demystify, to to open, to put, you know, four spotlights on uh, on the real real poli real political uh, uh, level of things. So instead of get real, I would, you know, I would, I will suggest to. Aleku to, you know, next year to, to, to uh, the, the slogan, you know, get real political. Well, yes, and nothing will be any kind of politics. So, um, I think it can be interpreted as any 
logo or motto, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean, you, you ask for my interpretation yes. of the uh, get real. Um, it's true that people live, uh, you know, on another level, get, get real should be, you know, like get, uh, uh, get realistic. And I don't think, you know, like mm, get realistic always has a, um, it's a, has almost like a fatalistic uh, um, um, kind of imperative tone in the voice. And um, I don't like that. I, I think that people should be, uh, I, I prefer dreamers, um, like individual authentic, I prefer authentic dreamers than, uh, than uh, um, a realistic, uh, you know, robots. Uh, what advice would you give to a young filmmaker, not your children, a young filmmaker that comes to you for advice? I'm sure it happened. Well, the only advice is to uh, is to make uh, is to judge films by uh, uh, by motivation by personal you know gut feeling motivation. Um, I make a distinction between films that are made from the stomach and ones which are made for a pocket. I completely think that you know filmmakers who who just want to make movies and then they look for topics. I, for me, it's 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 a wrong. Uh, it's a recipe for disappointment or for a waste of of energy down the road. Uh, all of my films um, happened before I realized they were happening. That's how kind of that's how naturally they they they, they came about. Um, and uh, it's really wonderful. One of the most magical moments in documentary filmmaking. Is you know is to understand and realize you know the the total absolute you know personal motivation of the filmmaker to make that specific film. That's when those films uh, are made, uh, regardless of the obstacles. That's when those films have the like you know the guts and and, and, and character and color uh, and, 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 and power. Um, and um, but that's again, you know, not so easy to to find. You know, like I, I'm, 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 I feel completely blessed to have made four films uh, so far, which were absolutely, you know, uh, um, kind of uh, uh, vertical or or or, or, or organic or uh, motivational beyond, beyond questioning. Um, uh, and th there is a pressure to survive in this in this you know small economy, you know to keep making films and, and like and but I don't want to do that. Especially you know what would I make after a film about nothing? You know like it's a, uh, how to find the same level of uh, of uh, excitement and motivation. Like I would never kind of look for topics and uh, and make one by uh, by all. Uh, uh, just because I'm, I, I should be making, I should use the momentum of a successful movie to make another one. No, I mean, I'd rather let this momentum dissipate until, you know, a new kind of immaculate idea uh, uh, comes my way again. Motivation, you know, breeds success, which brings more motivation, which breeds success. With, to come back to the children, that's, that's why, you know, like my goal as a parent is to open as many doors as possible so that they they get you know interested in some things to us to uh, to the extent to, of being personally authentically motivated to do those things and then when this motivation you know creates this kind of spiral and uh, like of uh, of uh, of result and additional motivation and result and that's when you know that's how people feel i think you know satisfied that's how people uh, advance and that's how people do uh, uh, beautiful and different things.